Hey, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather. As we head into the weekend, we've got two October cold fronts, one this weekend and then one next week. The first one appears to be a little weaker and a little warmer than the second one that arrives next week. As you're looking at radar and satellite, I'm actually marked both of them, the yellow lines, and they're both going to be moving out of the north, northwest, across the Intermountain West, and then through Colorado. The primary impacts here are going to be Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and parts of Montana. Um, the Pacific Northwest will also see some of the action, but not as much um, as I'll show you some of the uh, the accumulation numbers. It's also going to bring a lot of wind, talking a lot of wind on the, the high peaks in Colorado on Saturday. This is just a snapshot of the wind. I've got the peaks listed, a lot of the 14ers over there on the left. Um, so the winds start out fairly strong in the morning, and then they get stronger as the day wears on. By the time we get to noon Saturday, we're talking about wind gusts of 40, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, depending on what range you're in. So this first front will bring quite a bit of wind, and actually the second one will too. But that just gives you some idea of the wind that we're talking about. All right, let's talk about how this plays out in the future. So your first storm system already dropping um, some rain, some snow through the Intermountain West. You can see that on the future radar here at 5 o'clock today. By the time we get into Friday afternoon, that whole part of the cold front is moving into Colorado. You've still got rain and snow on the backside in Wyoming and Idaho and Utah. And that would be snow up in Little Cottonwood, Big Cottonwood Canyons. By the time we get into Saturday morning, um, you can see the snow falling up around Jackson and the Tetons, the Wind Rivers, and a bit of rain and snow in Colorado. By the time we roll in Saturday afternoon, more of the same. You can see the actual precip swinging up through Wyoming. And then eventually, by the time we get into uh, Sunday morning, that front, the first one, is moving away. The second one is up in the Pacific Northwest around Seattle, seeing snow up in Banff and into the interior of British Columbia, Whistler. Well, then that storm system or cold front drops down into the lower 48, and that's going to be the colder, stronger of the two. So there's your view Sunday afternoon. Oh, there's a little trailing low as well right there on Sunday through Taos and southern Colorado. So on Sunday, those areas, southern Colorado and New Mexico, will get brushed by a trailing low. Here comes the main uh, feature here dropping in. There's Monday morning. See the snow in Big Sky, Jackson Hole. Eventually, it starts to snow again in the... Uh, in the, in the front range, uh, in the peaks there on the Wasatch Front Range. And um, there it is. You can see all the snow by Monday afternoon. Um, then snow begins to move into Colorado by Monday night and continues into Tuesday. Uh, we'll roll this clock forward. You can see the snow in blue here. Rain is in green. Tuesday morning, you've got widespread snow from Big Sky, Jackson, all the way down into the, the Wasatch Front. That's through Tuesday morning. By the time we get into Tuesday afternoon, a lot of the emphasis will then shift into Colorado. It'll be windy on Tuesday as this front comes in. Remember, the whole the jet stream is basically buckling and ushering all of this action in. Uh, that's Tuesday morning. There's Tuesday afternoon. It's kind of a slow mover, which is good. That'll be a storm over the course of about three days. Um, so as far as accumulations go, um, with the first front, the numbers are fairly light. I'd say one place that kind of stands out to me uh, with the first front is probably out to Snowbird. I think you'll pick up four, five, six inches of snow out of this first one, out of this first front, and then more on the second. So there's total snow by Sunday afternoon, one to three, one to four in Colorado, four, five, six up there in Utah, two, three, four up in parts of the Tetons and the Wind Rivers, and then you can see the numbers up in Banff, Revelstoke, Sunshine, Whistler. That marks the end of the first. Um, looking at the accumulations coming in with the second, these would be grand totals by Wednesday morning. Um, you're, I mean, th it could be good snow. We could be looking at some totals in excess of a foot. Uh, these are grand totals, Alta, Snowbird, Park City, uh, the High Uintas in Colorado, kind of a grand total range of three to eight by the time we get to Wednesday morning. And then you can see the snow back into Canada and a little bit uh, there in the Pacific Northwest. All right, well, that updates uh, is for now. I'll certainly do another one. Uh, tomorrow. But thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it.